In recent news, Sophia Ritchie has finally moved into her new Beverly Hills mansion after months of renovations and delays. She and her boyfriend Elliot Grange purchased the sleek property for $17 million back in April 2021, but word is she wanted it customized before moving in. Prior to this 8,000 square foot residence, the last home we know of Sophia occupying was located in Hollywood Hills where she lived with her ex. Today, we're going to check out the model's new home. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sophia Ritchie is a model best known for being the youngest daughter of Lionel Ritchie, and in recent years, she's become a major influencer as well, signing deals with brands from Adidas to Coca-Cola and many more. At the time of this recording, her net worth is at an estimated $8 million, but it's only rising. While her former relationship with Scott Disick made Sophia a household name, her current boyfriend Elliot Grange is who she purchased the new digs with. Elliot is the son of a mega music mogul who's CEO of Universal Music and Elliot, well, he has his own record label himself. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out Sophia Ritchie's new mansion. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Up until last year, Sophia was still with her ex Scott Disick of keeping up with the Kardashians fame. So of course, you know the former couple also lived together. I'm sure that while Sophia's new home in Beverly Hills was getting renovated, she had a rental abode with her current man. But the last place you know of her living was this Hollywood Hills mansion. I'm pretty sure this mansion was Scott's investment, but either way, Sophia called the abode home for quite some time. Located in the Hollywood Hills, the sprawling residence had a clean and minimalistic design throughout and a semi-open floor plan connected with wooden flooring. We've seen Sophia post plenty of photos throughout the home, whether she was kicking back on the entryway's large stairway or in some of the living areas. There were plenty of white walls in the home's common spaces adorned with artwork, while the formal dining room, well, it offered access to a lush garden through large glass doors. This spacious dining room table had a marble top with flowers as decoration and to bring some life in, while the marble theme followed into the designer kitchen. The kitchen boasted white marble countertops, white cabinets, and stainless steel appliances. Nearby, an open concept living room had plenty of space for Sophia and her pup Herschel to kick back, boasting cream sofa and matching chairs, a wooden table, a fireplace, and flat screen TV. Moving upstairs, aside from the master suite, there's a spacious attached bath to go with it where we've seen Sophia snap a selfie or two in the past. The luxury bathroom boasts an open space with standalone bath, marble floor, and sink and fresh white folded towels in the back for a hotel feel. Of course, the room also has a navy blue vanity and mirrors on every wall to ensure the perfect selfie every time. Meanwhile, the grounds of Sophia's former Hollywood home were just as stunning, boasting a rolling green lawn and trees surrounding it. As you might expect, the property had a stylish infinity pool and sun loungers to work on your tan. This year, Sophia and her current boyfriend Elliot purchased a new home for $17 million, and while that went down back in April 2021, they didn't move in until just recently. The couple wanted to put custom touches on the mansion and make it more suitable for their lifestyle before moving in, not to mention they paid 500 k over the asking price for it. So we know they love the home. The residence was built in 1962, designed by LA architect Charles G. Kanner, who was reportedly inspired by the Bauhaus movement and other modern architects of the time, such as Frank Lloyd Wright. The same family owned the home until 2018, and then investors bought the property and neighboring lot for $5.6 million to restore the home. Along with the renovations, they added almost 3,000 extra square feet of indoor space to the mansion, and these days the pad spans over 8,000 square feet with six bedrooms and seven plants five baths. Sophia's new sleek estate is tucked away in the mountains above Beverly Hills on an exclusive cul-de-sac also known as Ellie's Music Row because many musicians live here. 
two doors down from the model's new digs, you'll find a couple homes owned by Rihanna, Paul McCartney's longtime mansion, and a home that Madonna recently rented out. The mansion sits grandly on a small hill above the Coldwater Canyon neighborhood, and it's hidden behind tall gates, so Sophia can expect plenty of privacy and security here. The exterior of the house had a patterned ivory-colored facade covering a full two levels, while steel casement windows add a touch of black. Sophia's modern dwelling boasts multiple ivory and neutral toned living spaces, including a great room, family room, and a luxury kitchen. In the fancy cooking space, there are top of the line appliances, shiny marble, and an Eden Island. Elsewhere in the home, there's a library which transformed into a movie theater with the touch of a button, or so they say. Walls of floor to ceiling glass all over the mansion allow for a contemporary vibe, sunshine, and amazing views. Sophie and Elliot's master suite offers up views of the backyard and bonuses like a fireplace, dual dressing rooms, or walk-in closets, and a private outdoor terrace. The attached bathroom boasts a soaking tub set inside a floor-to-ceiling window to really indulge, as well as a separate steam shower with more views, this time of the green hillside. Sophia's new home is definitely resort-like, and all the rooms appear to be super spacious, with soaring ceilings and light wood accents throughout. Not to mention, the interior spaces also have plenty of built-in geometric cabinets and shelves. Outside, the grounds are just as resort-like, with 2.2 acres of landscaped land over two attached parcels. While a lot of that is steep hillside, Sophia will still have all the necessary amenities in the yard, including ample entertaining spaces and a saltwater swimming pool and spa. The pool backs up to another cabana-style patio with wet bar, dining area, fireplace, and daybeds. Way back before Sophia bought up real estate in LA, she also lived out her dreams in New York City. Back in 2017, the model left California to spend some time living in the Big Apple, moving into a luxury apartment in the Soho neighborhood inside the building One Van Dam. One Van Dam is an exclusive spot to say the least, but being a celebrity, you shouldn't expect anything less from Sophia. The unit Sophia called home for some time spanned 1,557 square feet of space with two bedrooms, and just in case you're wondering, it didn't come cheap to rent. We hear she was dropping about 13 k per month to live here. Her former New York apartment opened into a welcoming entry hall, leading into an open plan living and dining area, which made the most of the space. Here, there were floor-to-ceiling windows to take in the impressive city views, along with white oak floors, all of which was attached to an open chef's kitchen with top-tier appliances. Sophia's one-time master suite took a corner location in the unit and boasted a walk-in closet, dressing room, and spa-style ensuite bath. Not to mention, one Van Dam offered plenty of amenities in the building itself, including a 6,400-square-foot landscape terrace, a fitness center, a lounge for residents, and private storage. So now we've taken a look at the homes of Sophia Ritchie, and I think that concludes this house tour. We saw a bit of where she used to live, but I think her new $17 million mansion blows the rest out of the water. What did you guys think? I think we'll have to wait to see how Sophia ends up decorating the modern mansion, but aside from that, it's certainly impressive. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about her home down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!